Hi everybody, welcome to Combat Rhythms. Uh, my name is Ran Levari, I'm the head instructor of the Akban Berlin School. With me is Sam, one of our veteran instructors from Akban Israel. Uh, and today we'd like to show you an introduction to working on your striking with a metronome. This is the metronome I'm using. It's an app um, which costs uh, a little money. You can get, of course, free metronomes. You can uh, find metronomes online as well. Or you can just buy an actual metronome from a music store. I suggest that you spend uh, very little money on it. We just need the basic functions of the metronome and they all basically do the same thing. You will always find a number somewhere in the middle. <laughs> we are using 100. This number is referred to as a BPM, beat per minute, where, for instance, 60 BPM will give us the speed of seconds, right? 60 beats per minute, 60 seconds per minute. So, for our purposes, this is fine. Once you get a metronome, if this is loud enough for you, fine. If not, a little speaker would do and you're good to go. For our first drill, we'll just be keeping time with jabs and crosses. It may sound very simple, but give some attention to this drill. It's very important. And I suggest that you count while you strike. Count one, two, three, four. It will make a lot of sense once we move from just a metronome to practicing with music, which is, of course, much more fun. We'll be counting one, two, three, four with the strikes. Another good thing that will happen is that when I count, it forces me to breathe out when I, when I punch, which is a very good habit. So just keeping the rhythm. One, two, three, four, and two, three, four. Two important parameters come into play when you, we try to strike according to a set rhythm. The first is the moment of launching the strike, the timing of launching the strike. The second is the speed that I am striking with. So I can do the two opposite things. One is to go slowly. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. That creates a sort of uh, seesaw motion with my shoulder blades. It's a very good thing to practice. The second is to wait for the last possible second. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And a good exercise is to combine the two. One, two, three. Once this feels natural, feel free to interject more strikes of different sorts. We'll still do very basic stuff. We're going to do a combination of jab, cross, hook, hook, jab, cross, uppercut, uppercut. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One good variation for all of these exercises is to switch back and forth with your partner sets. When I say set, I am basically talking about one set of one, two, three, four. In musical terms, that is called a measure. That doesn't matter right now. So uh, Sam and I are gonna do two sets each. I'm gonna start. And that will force me to go from the role of uh, striker to the trainer role, which is a good thing also to practice the timing of that. It's a very small motion and it will give you great timing when you defend or parry or do smaller things with your hands, okay? One, two,
Now one set. And one. Three. And. And. Same drill at 140 BPM, two sets each, and we will change in the middle for one set. One, two, one, two, three, go. One set. That's it for the first time. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section or contact me directly. Keep training.